hi friends and this is second video in VMware Horizon view training and in this video I'm going to discuss about our lab setup which we are going to use in this demo and this training series so you can see the first thing which we have this is my machine which is having Windows 10 Enterprise and this having uh, Intel Core i7 7th generation processor 7.5 gig and this machine having 128 gig of RAM and 1 TB SSD so here is my machine configuration you can see uh, this is basically a uh, as I said Windows 10 Enterprise and having uh, Intel I, uh, Core i7 7 series uh, extreme series processor and then 128 gig memory and then we have uh, this is my server and I have 1 gig of SSD and on top of my this uh, physical machine I have installed VMware Workstation 14 so if I go to VMware Workstation console and about VMware Workstation you can see we have Workstation 14 Pro which is installed on this machine and you can see all the uh, details like a uh, memory as I said and other status so this is on top of this we have uh, this VMware Workstation 14 and Workstation on we have a multiple virtual machine here we which you can see all machines are running and from slide let's go one by one so this is win 2 k 12 dc01 which is my activated dns and certificate authority server it's having 4 gig of ram and 60 gig of drive so this is my um, win 2 k 12 dc01 so this is my active directory server where active directory and dns role is installed and you can see we have a um, 4 gig of memory and 60 gig of virtual machine drive so this is my AD server and then we have a vCenter server which is vCenter01 and having 12 gig of RAM and 60 gig of hard drive so this is my vCenter server vCenter01 and this is also joined in my domain and I have already installed vCenters on this machine so we can log into vCenter admin and my domain name victorinforsoul.com and the password for this account so here if I go to host and cluster you can see this is my vCenter server and on the vCenter server we have um, one data center called o India and under the India we have two ESXi added which is ESXi 01 and 02 which is our next machine so if I go here and close this you can see the details which is running uh, VMware uh, on a VMware virtual machine so we have two ESXi host and if I go here you can see from slide we have ESXi 01 and 02 both having 32 gig of uh, memory and 300 gig of disk so you can see this is my ESXi 01 having 32 gig of RAM and this is my ESXi 01 and this is my ESXi 02 which is also having 32 gig of RAM and both ESXi host is added in my vCenter server already next we have a SQL server which is win 2 k 12 um, SQL 01 so this is my SQL server having 6 gig of mem memory and 60 gig of RAM so this is SQL server so you can see win 2 k 12 SQL 01 so SQL is already installed on this machine I have installed SQL Express Edition and then Management Console on this machine. So this machine having Management Console and SQL Express version. So let's connect here. And if I go here, you can see the version what we have. So we have SQL Express Server 64-bit uh, and the version which we have for SQL is going to be uh, like this so 
this is the SQL which server which we have already installed so uh, with the management console so and next we have a CS01 which is going to be a horizon connection view server so we have all these servers are brand new so what we have done we have uh, configured the IP address on these servers and do just join this machine domain so we have CS01 connection broker server then um, SS01 which is security server then we have VC which is a view composer server so these three servers are brand new just to mean uh, domain join and standby so we are going to use these servers in next videos and then we have one RDS server which is RDS01 here you can see uh, where we are going to install the RDSH remote desktop uh, host server uh, server and then we have a two thin client Windows 7 embedded thin client machines both are running on <coughs> 4 gig of memory so here you can see we have windows embedded standard and which is running on uh, thin client edition and having <coughs> like around 20 gig drive and out of 20 this is fully updated so it's going to take around 9 gig of drive space so and this is th01 and this is going to be your win7 hyphen th02 so this is thin client 2 <coughs> and all these machines are joined in my domain so if I go to active directory domain controller and open my active directory user assigned computers from here you can see my domain name is victorinfosol.com under the India we have OU groups and then we have a server so you can see vcenter cs01 rds sql all servers are joined in my domain here and then we have uh, users under the users we have two OU one as admin so we have view admin vcenter sql and rds so this is for rds server to log in and this is for sql server and this is for vcenter and view admin is going to be used for three three servers which is horizon all the servers which where we are going to install the horizon uh, role uh, server role, which is connection server security and view composer so we are going to use this view admin there and then we have five demo account which is um, user 01 to user 05 which we are using to log into our um, these uh, thin client machine so you can see this is user 01 and here we have logged into by user 02 on th02 so and we have workstation so both the thin client machine has been joined in uh, workstation OU so this is all set and done so all the machines are in currently running state so if I go and see my RAM and CPU utilization of my physical machine so you can see the CPU is about uh, you can say 20% in use constant and if I talk about RAM it's going to be used uh, 48 gig 49 gig for now however I have powered on all these machines because this is doing some hyper threading for memory utilization so that's why we ha uh, I have a less memory utilization here so basically if you want to set up the lab for uh, horizon view you, you are minimum rec going to require a 64 gig of memory to set up the uh, horizon view uh, uh, full production demo environment and then you can do all the tests together to test all these things like VDI deployment RDS deployment session host uh, collection deployment so everything so a part of this you need uh, one DHCP server which is going to give you automatic IP address for your uh, virtual desktop or VDI pool if those are like going to be uh, automatic so you must need one DHCP server you can install on any like on your AD server if you don't have you need to make sure some some like network devices like a router or switch is going to provide the automatic IP addresses to the client machines when they are going to boot up so you need one DHCP server at least in this infrastructure to work 
So this is all about the lab setup which I am going to use in this Horizon View training uh, tutorial. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this video, you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.